Hey everybody, hope you're doing awesome. Brian Jenkins here with another Arduino tutorial. Now, we've talked a lot about the Arduino IDE. We've talked about the hardware on the board itself. We've talked about powering the Arduino, installing libraries, and a lot of other things. But so far, we haven't done a lot of practical, hands-on stuff. So today, I wanted to change that, and I wanted to give you something that you guys can apply to probably a lot of different projects right away. And you can see the setup right here. And I have it all wired and breadboarded. And what, what it is, is I'm going to show you a way that you can expand the output pins of your Arduino. One way to do it. Okay, so in other words, I'm using three of the output pins. And I'm going to control, there's eight LEDs there, two of each color. And I'm going to use three pins to light up and control eight LEDs. And the heart of this circuit really is this black, little black IC right here. I don't know if you can see with all these wires in the way, but it looks intimidating with all the wires, but it's really an easy concept. That black IC is a shift register. And we have the shift register. And then we have our LEDs, and of course we have our current limiting resistors in series with the LEDs. There are 220 ohms, each one in series with one of the LEDs. And of course, we need those. And then, of course, we have the Arduino Uno. We just have a power and a ground, and then the three output pins. And now that we know a little bit about how the circuit works, before we go into, you know, looking at the schematics, or talking about the shift register, or what a shift register even is, I want to demonstrate this circuit to you. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Arduino. So here we see that we're lighting these LEDs kind of one at a time in series, but we're controlling eight LEDs with three output pins. And, of course, this isn't just limited to lighting up LEDs. I mean, there's a lot of things you guys can do with this. So now that we see a little bit about what the circuit actually does and uh, how it works, let's take a deeper look at the code and the schematic. So I'm back, and before we get into the code, I want to talk a little bit about shift registers, specifically the one that we're going to use, and also take a look at the schematic so you guys get a better idea of how this thing is wired, because it's really hard to tell by looking at the actual circuit on the breadboard here. So this is the shift register we're going to use, and it's a 40-page data sheet, and there's a lot of things to say about shift registers, but we're just going to give you the 10,000 foot view here real quick about the particular shift register that we're going to use and a little bit about shift registers in general. Now, there's a couple different types of shift registers. As we can see here, this is a picture taken from one of my old textbooks. And there are several different types, but the one that we're going to be using here is circle, serial in, parallel out. And what it's going to do is it's going to shift in the ones and zeros of data, one bit at a time until there's eight bits, and then shift it out, all eight bits all at once, to either light or not light the eight LEDs. So going back to here, we see this is a data sheet again, and right here, eight bit serial in parallel out shift register. So that's really all we need to know about shift registers for now. Let's take a look at the schematic. Now, here is the schematic courtesy of Fritzing, and I want to leave it up here for a minute so you guys can take a good look. Of course, you can always pause the video, but we have, really, the heart of this is a shift register right here. We have the Arduino, and this is connected to 5 volts, by the way, not 3.3 volts. Just want to make that clear. The 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino is not used. Okay, and then we have our LEDs and a series of 220 ohm resistors go into the outputs of the shift register. And the cathodes of the LEDs, of course, are grounded. 
and then the anodes are connected to the resistors to the shift register. So it's really it's a really simple schematic, really simple concept. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So in case you want to try this at home. Now let's go on over and look at some code.